Hey everybody, happy Friday and happy um Black History Month. My mind is gone today, y'all. So today I want to talk about mental health and I want to talk about how mental health is so important. And I also want to talk about, I feel like we do need to get help. Mental health is a very serious thing. Mental health got to do with like suicide, all those type of things that can hurt you, that can, that you just go crazy. You know what I'm saying? And we don't, it's, it's enough that we really don't have the insurance for mental health. If y'all see background, that's my TV. But to see that we, we as people don't help our mental health patients when we can, you know, we got all this money to go buy all these cars, to go buy all these clothes, to go buy all these jewelry. But the main thing we not doing, we not helping our mental health patients. And I thought that was like, so sad, you know. Um, I think when when Twitch died, I think that was like a very sad thing, you know, for him. He had everything. And when I say everything, he had everything that he ever wanted. He walked away from home, checked himself in a motel. He had a gun and he shot himself in the head. And I think for us, we need to watch our meal to help. If you see somebody's not doing well, ask them, ask them, how was your day? Was your day okay? Are you doing, are you doing good? You understand what I'm saying? Don't, don't sit around and wait and then it's too late and then you don't even know it, but you hear about it. The next thing you hear about, this this person don't kill themselves. Don't do it. You know what I'm saying? Ask the person, how's how's you doing? You know, do you was is there anything that you want to talk about? We always don't have to be mean to people. It's some things that we can acknowledge and it, it's some things that we can respect about people. You know, we are just I wanted to do this video today because I thought it was important. You know, I don't know if I did do a video on mental health before, but if I did, oh well. I wanted to do it again because we have it's like we it we have mental health. And it's like mental health is serious. You understand what I'm saying? You know, here's a guy that left his his kids. He had like three kids and his wife. Here's the guy. But you know, of course, everybody want to walk around here and blame it, Ellen, allegedly, or blaming his wife, allegedly. But at the end of the day, he had a problem and then nobody know it. And I say this to everybody. If you were any, any kind of friend, then you would have asked Twitch. You would have said, um, you would have said to him, how's your day going? Is you okay? Would you like to have a conversation? Or would you like to talk? But you didn't say that. You didn't do that. You waited to he don't shot himself and a housekeeper finds him and then you want to say you have all these things to say about him or all these things to say about the friends that he had uh, in his world and blame the people that helped him. No. No. You know, um, I don't too much indulge and talk about certain things 
It was just like, it was an emphasis lit something that was sold me by the person. I'm not going to mention no names. Uh, because I don't know who watching this video. And they told me that the person had said they hate them. And I was just asking them, how can a person say they hate you? The person that had you say they hate you. How, how does that work? How does that even go? And the person asked me, they said, well, have a person ever told you that they hate you? I say, I don't, I said, I really don't think so. I said, because I try not to put myself in negativity. You know, that was just like my sister said, it's an incident that happened over the weekend. And my sister was telling me that why would you want that type of energy in your house in, in 2023? And I got to thinking, she right, because I had that same type of energy in my house last year, dealing with, with my son, my gay son, and dealing with other people that was around me. Certain people were sitting there saying that I stole from them. Servicing people just was sitting there, they were just rude to me. They was just, they was wrong doing me. But I didn't look at it like that. And that was what God was trying to show me. And God was trying to show me some things. And he was trying to get my attention. And I wasn't attentive, you know, because I had this best friend and we was growing apart. I wanted her to get her own place. I said, well, you can continue to work for me where you can save money to get your own place. You know? And this is what I tell my sister. And, you know, because, you know, my sister's over me. And me not thinking that you got several people out there to get you and that's jealous of you, I um basically just ignored what was in front of me, ignored what was about to happen. And then I end up, my light bill end up being a thousand dollars. I'm pretty sure I told you about this story. Then I end up being paralyzed, being in the bed. I've now been in the hospital bed now for like, I thought it's like been going on three years, but my sister said it's been like a year and a half, you know, most of the things that happened to me, I tried to block out. And then most of the things that did try to happen to me, I try to just remember. But when you get in situations, and you get in situations, you have nobody in your corner. You have nobody that's going to stand by you. You know, the whole time that you thought you had friends, you don't have no friends. You have enemies. You don't have nobody that want to be there for you. You don't have nobody that want to come over and sit with you and talk to you, you know, do your hair. You don't have nobody that want to come over, clean your house. You don't have any of that. You know, things that the friends that you had back in the day, how they were at first, they not the same. The people that you're dealing with now is Totally different people. You know? I was just did a video of yesterday, which was Thursday, about the same thing. Was telling these youngsters, don't follow in the path that I I, I uh, did. Go on a different path, bro. Go on a different path. You know, go to college if you got to. Take a trade. Do something that's going to benefit you. You know what I'm saying? Don't do nothing that's going to cause people to um, hurt, hurt you. Because that's what people is there to do. They are, they is to out there to hurt you.
So, um, yeah, you got to watch what people do to you. Hold on. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, get your trade. You know, do something. Don't don't go out there be um, do some illegal. You know, I'm not saying don't live in your truth. I'm saying everybody deserve and have the right to live in their truth. But if you gonna live in your truth, live it live in your truth the right way. Don't live in your truth the wrong way. That's the only thing I'm saying. And I also think that in life, be respectful. Be respectful for about whatever you do. That's the only thing I'm saying, y'all. Well, that's it. I'm going to close this out. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.